This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Stairs, editing the stair. Okay, picking up where we left off was 1502, and we're going to change that to 1503. So save as, project, and 1503 begin. Okay, and then we'll save as again. Project 1503, and we will complete that. Okay, good. So we want to edit this stair. Now, we've noticed that there's a little discrepancy here. Looks like we need to maybe add the stair to this bottom side instead of to this side. So let's go to our top of footing plan. And we're just going to click on this stair and we can edit the sketch. Okay, so you can see here we're starting from there, or we did start from there, and then we went up to there. So we can change that. I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to say okay to that. There is one thing we can do. We can click on the stair and then see this little arrow? That'll flip the direction. So now it's going up from there. But what if you actually wanted it still to go up from here? You just wanted to add a riser. Well, you can click on the stair, go to Edit Sketch. And now I went to edit the sketch, but I didn't flip it back. Let's just say OK again. Let's click on the stair again. Let's flip it back. So this is going up. Now we'll edit the sketch. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the little run line. Now this is OK to click on once you are working just sort of with conventional stairs. Like I can take away one from there. And then I could click over here and just add one. This is where you have to be careful though. You see what happened? It made this giant sort of landing weird riser thing. We've got to really watch out for that. So let's just undo. And let's try undoing once more. Okay, let's try this one more time. I'm going to give it one more shot. Okay, so there's one there. Yeah. Let me show you the best way to do this. You want to add another riser? Click on the black line that represents the riser. Go to the copy tool. Copy from there to there. Hit escape. Click on the boundary line that's represented by the green line. Drag that down. Click on the other green one. Drag it down. Now, if you just notice, if I just click on one of the lines here and I start dragging it, automatically it's going to say, oh, 22 created. You've got one too many. So if I have one too many, I go to the top, delete, stretch that back, stretch that back. And I just ignore those blue lines, okay? You can also do things like take out a riser right here if you want the railing to play out a little better. But that's sort of a general thing you can do. Now, you're not stuck with the shape. Like, you're free to use the move command. And if I click on a line, I can move it over. Just keep in mind, that's the width of the tread. The stringer is going to sit proud of that. Okay? And you can click on the other side too. It doesn't matter if this is not an equal distance at this point. We can just stretch that over. And then even the landing, we could move that back to there. Even if we wanted to, we could say, okay, we want to see what an arc landing would look like. Draw an arc using the boundary tool. And then we would delete this. And that would become an arc landing. Okay, so we could just finish. Okay, so now let's do a section through this. So I just double clicked on the section, or you can also go in the project browser to north south section. And here we are. So now you can get a better look and feel for this stair. Okay, so there it is there. Looks like we've maybe extended it a little bit too far. So we might want to pull that back a little bit. So we could just click on this, edit the sketch again. Because it won't let me edit it in section view, I need to edit the sketch mode maybe in the top of footing. Okay, now this isn't going to work, so let's get rid of that. Square off the landing. Okay, and then maybe we take the whole thing and then move it back. Finish that up. A lot of zooming in, zooming out. Go back to the section again and just see if that's getting better. Okay, so that's a little bit better. What we'll do to strike that point so we know exactly where that is, is we're going to go to 
home and then we're going to go to reference plane right there and we are going to draw a reference plane right at the edge right down then i hit escape when i'm done okay now if we click on the stair and edit the sketch we can open up the foundation plan aha so now we can actually see where it is okay so i just select the whole thing and i'm going to move it down to there and if i'm going to add a nosing i may even just pull it back by one inch as well it really depends on the stair construction and that's something that i really have to leave up to you guys okay so let's finish that up all right back to the section Okay, a little bit better. So that's going to be our final riser right there. They might tack a nosing on. And we have stairs. So it's an iterative process. It just is with stairs because you're maybe not quite sure where the landings are going to be or where points are going to have to end off. So those are some of the tools to help you edit what's there.